Stampers, and thank you so much for joining me today. This is Laura Buchler of Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Nanaimo, BC. Today I'm going to show you the painter's tape technique. This is a really fun and quick way to create a unique background for your cards. So the measurements for your card are a card base of five and a half by eight and a half inches, a mat layer that measures three and five eighths by four and seven eighths, and a white layer that measures three and three eighths by four and five eighths. Now, when I'm choosing colors for a matte layer like this, my preference is for the card base to be a lighter color and then have a darker layer in between the white and the card base. So I chose my uh, colors based on that and I've chosen the ink colors for the card as well. I've got Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Rich Razzleberry, and Seaside Spray. And the two colors of cardstock here I've got are Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. Now, in addition to your four ink pads, you'll also need painter's tape. This is a kind of tape that uh, you use for painting walls. And the key thing that you need to know about it is that it's uh, repositionable. It's meant to come off your paper or your walls without tearing anything. So that's why we're gonna use it for this project. And you'll also need a large stamp, and I'm going to be using the flower stamp here from Ornate Style. And I've also chosen this little, a little note stamp from Butterfly Gala for my sentiment. So to start off, I'm going to open up my four ink pads and line them up on my desk from lightest to darkest. And I'm going to get a length of painter's tape. And starting with the lightest color, I'm going to press my painter's tape gently into the ink pad. And I just run my finger along it like this to make sure that it picks up all the ink. You don't have to press down hard. Peel it off gently and then press it down onto your white cardstock. And it leaves a really pretty stripe and it's not too solid or sharp. Now I'm going to repeat this with the other three ink pads. Now if at any point I'm worried that there's too much ink on this tape, I can just do that and get a little bit more. Because I'm going from lightest to darkest, I'm going to just use the same piece of tape four times. But if you're concerned, you can always get another piece of tape uh, for each new color. And it doesn't matter too much if you leave a gap in between your stripes. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be consistent. And you can see that you can just peel that tape right up again. Incidentally, Stampin' Up! ink pads are three and a half inches long, so that's why our white cardstock layer is just a little bit less than that. All right, so I've got my beautiful stripes on there. 
They look super cool. And now all that's left to do is to add a stamped image over top and a sentiment at the bottom. And there's my finished card. Remember that you'll get a chance to win this card when you share the video. Leave a comment below to let me know that you've shared, and maybe I'll be sending you this card in the mail. So here are some other cards that I've made with the painter's tape technique and a variety of colors. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. And if there's something specific that you'd like to learn about, please let me know. Remember that you can purchase all the products shown on my website, inkyfingers.ca, where you'll also find more project tutorials, current promotional details and catalogs, and the sign up for my monthly email newsletter. During the COVID pandemic, I'm not offering in-person classes, but you can sign up for Creativity To Go, which means once a month, you'll get prepared supplies and tutorials delivered right to your door for you to complete on your own schedule. I am also hosting casual Zoom crafting sessions where you can bring any project you happen to be working on and enjoy a fun social crafting time with others. Once COVID is over, I will once again be hosting in-person classes. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to let you know that I have a Facebook page called Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, where you can join a weekly creative challenge and win a prize from me. And if you do place an order, please use the current hostess code, which you can find on my website, because everyone who uses that code will get a free gift from me. If you'd like to earn your own hostess rewards, all you need to do is place an order of over $200 or contact me and we'll start planning your own online party. Drop me a line for more details. Have a great day everyone and happy stamping! Bye!